we'll get him next Three, time. I just need a moment. Two, one, That's alright. Missed a step. Gotta catch up. That's alright, we're going in. Bon and Minerva. Losers finals. Right here on Xeno 302. I didn't know Minerva Fire Emblem was in this game. My god. <laughs> She was the captain of the Macedon White Wings. Really? Pardon. Interesting. Well, former anyway. There's a whole thing, there's a whole bit about that. But anyway. Oh my gosh, what a nice reversal on the can mid-air to follow Heretta. And yet it still came into play. Alright, here we go. A great up air. Not gonna kill Raw, but it's gonna kill on the second time. Nice little victory can get there. I think that is Reda's biggest fear right now, is those play pigeons. Rare instance of Rotor Arm being a reflector. You know, the thing it was originally designed for just turned into absurdly good kill move. It's it's really good. It, you know what? Unintentional, intentional kill move. You love to see it. Yeah, these play pigeons are looking free. I love how Fawn, like, ran up. You're gone for this, by the way. Yes. I love how Fawn kept running forward and, like, as if Heretta were going to, like, roll out to ke or, like, air dodge right, and then just quickly turn around and say, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw the disc the other way. You're dead. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, like, once Heretta starts, like, catching on things, Fawn has a really good tendency of starting to mix it up. Be like, ah, you're not gonna expect this now. All right, here comes the pain. Covering oh, every single area. You're gonna go up, down, left, right, sideways? Nah, you're gonna get hit. I keep forgetting that that trips. You know what to do, Numbers! At the Elm to remind him of what to do. Is he gonna do it? He better. Good. I'll be mad if he doesn't. I'll yell at him. All right. Oh, Fawn getting their second stock taken. Red is at 140. But is it well, too little, too late? I don't think so. It's never too late for Fawn. I mean, for Heretta. It's never too late for Heretta. As long as Heretta can, like, just space out, can. not get hit by the can, and, uh, never mind. they got hit by the can. I love I love what you said, not get hit by the can, as soon as the can spawned. What can I say? I'm no Shadalmas. Third Eye Awakened. Bing! Like, I saw it coming like a train, and I'm like, I don't think I can stop that. So about to make a hearty switch to PS2. I think this is... I don't know if there's too much a difference between Battlefield... I mean, Small Battlefield and PS2 here. I like... Uh, PS2 is, is a little wider, right? A little wider, he says. <laughs> about the widest stage in the game. Wider than FD? Yes! Man, it does not feel that way. You can really tell by how close the side blasts are to the ledge. Alright. As you get some good setups here from Fawn. Just backing away with the can. No clay pigeons just yet. But a good grab tech. A nice little jab. Where we see that from Duck Duck Duck. A two. About to tear him into the can. Honestly, that would have been really cool. Oh no, the back air. Blowing up the can. Vaughn almost losing their stock over that. Good match. Oh, if, if she were a little more cognizant of where they wind up, they probably could have just snuck in an up air for the kill. If she was a little more snake, a back row would have taken it. But an up air will do it here. All right, Reda looking for... Wow, up air not killing Looking just for yet. getting blown to smithereenies. Yep. Don't explode now. Fire. Fire, all right. The fastest gunman in the west. No way. 
All right, Hereto remembering that they do have that reflector. That's... Oh, no. And this is a key reason as to why I dislike the stage. That does not happen anywhere else. It doesn't happen on Stadium 1, I'll, I promise you that. In every single Smash game, there has to be a stage where you pineapple. It's just the rule. Oh. I'm trying to think. Did Brawl have one? Bra uh, Brawl definitely has one. Does Brawl have a pineapple? I'm trying to think. We didn't play on Dreamland 64. No. I'd like the beginning of the lifespan, I think. I'll, I'll take a look later. On yeah, post. but I remember it more. Smashville? You didn't pineapple on Smashville. You, you, <laughs> you would glide under the stage on Smashville. That was a uh, uh, no man's land. Gotcha, gotcha. Nice little jump over that laser. As Spawn is up one stock. We can close this out real fast. Oh, look at stuck in the long, long lag of a... Uh, oh, it's a great gyro play there. No way. Good catch. Alright, we're gonna see a repeat of the last game? I think so, maybe. Careful. Bon taking a few lessons from John on how to grab that gyro. The gyro and you. How to beat Rob, 101. The that, can save them! Yeah? That was amazing! Save? Well, no, that was just close to death that time. Right. Not that time! Well, you know, at 133, uh, those trades were well worth it. Who kicked the dog? They didn't kick the dog, they exploded the dog. Big difference. Who detonated the dog? Who put live explosives on this hound? Who let the dog play with the can? Alright, really good shield pressure there. Right, unfortunately, not shielding in time, getting caught by the can and blowing up! And Rob right, is taking off for scroll. Like, right. So now we're going to get a repeat of the usual grand staple. John versus Spawn. I told him what to do for uh, first game of grands. If he doesn't do it, I'm going to yell at him. Now, I'm actually I'm very curious what a head-to-head -head between um, Fawn and John Numbers is. So uh, let's go on PG Tats and uh, numbers, see what's up Numbers with that. definitely has the winning record, I'll tell you that. I do know that, but I'm like, Because he has how, a record on bad? every NYC local regular around these parts. I mean, I have played him once in bracket, and that, that was quite an experience. When was the last time you played John? At least sometime last month. <laughs> 20 too many games is what I'll say. Numbers and fun, please wait to start. Numbers and fun. I just realized I was on stream, sorry. Oh no, that's totally fine. Alright, so Fawn with a 68% win rate? You'd think that's higher. Well, 70% now. I mean, just general brackets or? Uh, general brackets. Okay. 